welcome back to season two of the Diaries of a Six Figure Coach podcast. I am so happy to be back here. I'm so happy to be recording again. It's been a really, really good break. It's really been supportive to gain perspective, to sort of gain clarity around, you know, what do I want to do? What's coming? How do I want to show up and serve and guide? And I am going into this season of the Diaries of a Six Figure Coach podcast with some incredible opportunities for all of you to two things, come onto this podcast and share your story of entrepreneurship, share where you're at right now, what you're working towards. So if you're a five-figure service-based entrepreneur that are listening, I want you on my podcast. I want to have a conversation about your journey in business. I want to talk about how this experience is for you. I want us to have raw and real conversations. The intention with this podcast was always around sharing authentically what it's like to build a business. And I want to, with this season, bring in more of you to come and have conversations with me about that, because I think it's really important. And there's a lot of smoke and mirrors out there about business and building business. And I really feel wholeheartedly that it has not been supporting us to be able to stay committed to our businesses. And today, the topic I really want to dive into and what I want to talk about is that business is actually quite easy, but staying committed is hard as fuck. And because there is so much lack of transparency and a lot of inauthenticity and a lot of really brilliant marketing messaging, there is this like, misconstrued idea of entrepreneurship that has kind of set this expectation of what business is and what business should look like or feel like that is actually quite unattainable, especially if you are every day waking up and thinking, what am I going to do today to build my business? How am I going to get clients this week? How am I going to pay my bills this week? How am I going to deal with this? What am I going to do about this situation? Like when you're constantly in this space, of guessing what to do to make it happen, to try and do it her way or his way, to have it feel a certain way. And you try so hard to have it feel that way, but you just can't seem to get there. When you're in that kind of environment and being and state and, and, scenario for yourself trapped in this idea and expectation of business looking a certain way it becomes energy draining and may I say it a toxic way of running your business and it really starts sucking the life out of you and you may even be questioning Why the heck are you still even doing this? Why are you still even doing this? And I get emotional about this because I think at the root of that is so much shaming on ourselves of not doing it right or maybe, you know, telling ourselves that we're just not good enough or or that we need to be saved or that we need something else. And It hurts me when I see that. It hurts me when I see that. And as I was traveling and and wrapping up, really, really wrapping up life in Whistler and, and closing 
a chapter of my life of 16 years and being invited to attend an incredible, incredible conference where Arlene Dickinson spoke. Oh my God, one of many incredible speakers that was there being surrounded in a room by 300 CEOs and leaders that, la that run large scale companies that earn, I don't know, multi-million dollars a year and having real conversations about navigating business, navigating business challenges, how we can get ourselves and our organizations focused about cash flow gaps, talking about cash flow gaps. This was one of the number one things we spoke about was how can you bridge cash flow gaps? And there was just so many conversations that were not just empowering, but they were raw and they were real and they were authentic, and they were about business. And listen up, I sat in this room, and it's giving me goosebumps, I sat in this room, and I knew I belong here. I knew I belonged in this room, and I knew that coming back into the season of the podcast, coming back into the season of my business, into the season of my life, I really want to start having conversations around what business is and what it's like. And listen up, I'm known to make <laughs> strategy sexy. I love my freaking business. I love what I do. I love to serve. I love to give. I love to strategize. I'm a strategist first. And then I'm a mentor and a coach second and fat, but I'm a strategist. I'm a CEO. I am in your business just as I'm in my business. I love that. It fuels me. It's what I do. And I thrive in creating environments that allow my clients to thrive, that allow my clients to scale from $3,000 to $30,000 a month. One of my strategic clients um, has been doing that and it's been incredible to watch her move and take on what we talk about and implement it and just move and run it's unbelievable but it is because we started to really work on creating an environment where she is able to do that and that is why business is actually quite easy but staying committed to make it work is hard because the thing is, this is where we run up against all the mindset stuff, right? Like we think that if we put a strategy or process or system in place, then we worry that if we're doing that and it's not working, that is going to be a problem. Like we're future predicting doubt and worry onto something instead of just saying, hey, let me be held by this. We are rather guessing every day and changing things up all the time. Every time it doesn't work because what we're seeking is instant gratification instead of focusing on long-term sustainable success. We say to ourselves, oh, I'm, I'm not going to invest because I'm, you know, I, I, I'm going to do it on my own. And I actually was on a sales call with someone who ended up joining this crazy 30-day dating offer that I have that you can still apply on, last chance. And she literally said on the call, you know, I, I kind of think um, I can do this on my own. I can do this on my own. And I, uh, I said, okay, so you can do this on your own. And she paused. And she said, said, yeah, you know, I kind of think I, I can do this on my own. So, you know, what if I, you know, join this, this 30 day experience and then, you know, I, I you know, I want to do it on my own. And I said to her, instead of like saying to her, oh, you can do it on your own. Why haven't you done it yet? Instead of questioning what I said, here's what I said to her. I said, listen up, I am offering this 30 day experience. I'm offering an opportunity for 10 entrepreneurs to come into my world and to get an experience of what it is like to work with me, what it is like 
for me to come in as a strategist, a coach and mentor, to be able to build an environment that allows you to grow your business, scale your business, make progress, get real results, and to see what it's like working together. And I am looking for people that are ready for this. I'm looking for people that want the growth. I'm looking for people that want to take the action. I am looking for people that are in this and want this and are looking to have long-term mentorship within this because they know that being in a space like this, being surrounded by other entrepreneurs and having this type of support and guidance will be supporting them. And they want to do it together. They don't want to do it alone. So what I'm asking you right now, because I'm taking that risk is that if you know that you want to do this alone and you're not serious about really exploring this and doing this together, that you're going to let me know and not take the opportunity from someone else to be in this space. So make an ethical decision because you know where I'm coming from and I am here taking that risk and I'm going to give it my all, but ethically I'm asking you to not move ahead unless you actually want to do this together. That's what I said to her. And she thought about it and she said, yeah, you know, you're right. And the thing is, if I could do it on my own, then why haven't I done it yet? And I was like, you said that. And then she was like, okay, I'm good to go. And she hopped into the space and we've been doing some incredible, incredible work in the last two weeks she's been in this space with me. And I feel confident about her wanting to do it together now and being in this space. And hey, if I'm wrong, so be it. Then I'm going to come on here again and I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you this is what happened because I want you to know does it work or doesn't? I want you to see what am I doing? How am I taking risk? What am I offering? How am I giving? And then I'll report back authentically and honestly because we need to be able to learn to detach from expectation and to show up in a way that feels supportive to us, that feels in alignment with our values, that's in integrity with who we are as people, that's ethically the way we want to be and show up. And that is a huge one to me. And that we enjoy. And when we do that, staying committed to make it work, staying committed to show up, to serve, to give, to guide, to show people and allow people to experience the value of our programs and our services, to be giving generously and to allow an open flow of energy of co-creation to actually happen, we've got to create an environment that is conducive to that, that's conducive to the growth, that's supportive of making that happen. Because the business part, actually mapping it out, choosing, getting clarity, and putting the strategy and the structure and the foundations in place, that part of business is the easy part. But the showing up and staying committed to it, that's where it gets iffy. That's where we self-sabotage. That's where we often say, oh, I can do it on my own. Or again, we keep aiming for the short-term gratification and we're putting ourselves in this red wheel. And in the red wheel, it's really hard to get out of the red wheel. It's really hard to get out of the red wheel, just like it's really hard to focus on what you got to do when you have a thousand things going on. Just like it's really difficult to figure out where to start clearing out your garage if the garage is stacked full of shit. 
We can focus when we're in focused environments. We can focus when we have clarity and we can see what's in front of us, right? If you take everything out of the garage and you line it up, you could start to look at it and say, okay, this is how I can put that in the garage to make the garage more organized and functioning. We have to have the clarity to have the focus. So business is easy. Showing up and staying committed to make it happen is hard. Because you have to consciously create it. You have to be willing to believe and to know that your plan and your strategy will work. You have to move in alignment and in integrity with who you are and your values and your desires. You got to keep showing up even when there is no instant gratification. You've got to start understanding what's normal in business and stop making it mean something and attaching stories to things like cash flow gaps and what that means about you. You've got to start getting clear on what you want it to feel like in your business. And then you make sure the environment that you're building is set up for that. We're coming back to the strategy to hold you and to guide you. It's like being hugged. It's like leaning back and having someone hug you. That's what your strategy should feel like. This is what business gets to feel like, the structure and the strategy supportive create the environment that's supportive so that you can actually work through the times when it gets tough work through the mindset pieces work through the challenges that you'll be facing along the way and do it all with this like beautiful plan and strategy in place so business is easy, but the showing up part and the staying committed part, it can be hard. And it's even harder when you choose to do it on your own. It's even harder when you throw spaghetti at the wall and keep getting guessing. It's even harder if you keep denying yourself the support that you deserve and desire because you are afraid that if you hire someone, if you spend the money, if you commit to something, then you can't pay them. What if it doesn't work? But the reality of it all is that you've got to build and you've got to really start to think long term. You got to start to really focus on creating the environment in which your business and you can thrive. And when you do, really incredible things can happen. So, <laughs> That's a wrap <laughs> for the new season start, for the new season start. I am excited. I am excited to come in with a reinvigorated spirit of what I always wanted this podcast to be. I am excited to come and share with you more strategies and insights around really building your business from day one with a big business mindset in mind and sharing some of my own experiences, scaling a business to eight figures and, and running a large organization and, and tying that into the space that I'm in right now. I'm excited to have conversations with some of you. So if you want to come on the podcast, send me a message at Teresa Lambert Coaching on my Instagram, DM me, and let's chat. I want you to come on. And you have one more week until July 24th to come and apply to be part of my 30-day date me and business experience, to come into my strategic mastermind and get the experience of coming in and enrolling into one of my highest level mentorship spaces. And we're going to fly together. 
it's going to be incredible. So opportunities are available. Business is easy. And if you are in my world already, if you're a client already, you probably start cluing onto this. <laughs> if you're coming into my world, you're going to get to experience how easy the business side gets to be because you're going to have a strategist, a CEO, and a mentor like me on your side in your corner that really is passionate about creating environments in which you can thrive. But you also going to be in a space alongside other entrepreneurs, in a space, even if it's my Instagram community or the 30 day experience, but in a space where you're not doing it on your own and where you're in this journey with others so we can learn from each other and we can support each other to continue to show up for our vision, to continue to believe in our vision, to continue to stay committed and have the staying power to show up for the thing that we say we're going to do. To normalize things like cash flow gaps in business without making it mean that we're terrible business people or that everything's going to shit. To be able to navigate bounce client payments, a change on your client roster, drops in revenue, Instagram going down, threats, new social media platform, everyone's going unhinged for, <laughs> on, you know, there is a lot, there is a lot, but when you're on this journey together, you can go far. And I want to go far and I want to go far with you. So if you want to come with me, if you want to experience working together, let's date. Let's date. Let's go on a first date. It's like you making the first move on Bumble. It's you making a move and filling out this application. I'll review it. We'll have a chat. And if it feels right, you come into the space and we'll play for 30 days. And throughout that time, we can assess. Does this feel good for both of us? Because I'm looking for a very specific entrepreneur. I'm looking for a very specific soul who's ready to move because I'm ready to move and we can go far together or we can go our separate ways. Either or is fine by me. But I want to invest time and effort into people that want to invest time and effort in me. I want to invest in people who want to invest in me. Because when I say yes to working with you, I am 100% in. And I want you to be 100% in too. In on wanting my support and in, more importantly, on your business, in on your process, in on your growth, in on your vision, in on what you want to create. And I will be there to support you and guide you through this and help you create an environment where thriving and momentum and moving forward and growth is the only thing that's logically going to happen. It's going to be inevitable that you scale. This is it. <laughs> I have a lot to say. More episodes will drop. <sighs> I'm excited. Really, really excited. And I say, let's just all create beautiful, beautiful, beautiful environments in which we can thrive, in which we can thrive and feel the way we want to feel, whatever that is for you. I love you so much. I'm so happy to be back. And new episodes are going to drop now every week on Tuesday. We're changing up the day. So make sure if you're not subscribed yet, you subscribe and I will chat with you all soon.